while we are looking at the Create Systems Advanced screen, it's a good time to check out some of the other features that can be changed here, since we're discussing advanced things in Trace. The Supply Fan Motor location can be defined here, though typically it's either going to be in the Return or the Supply. We also have the option to omit it. The Return Fan Motor location is the same thing. The fan configuration can be set to blow through or draw through. While this isn't going to have a significant impact on your model, it's going to affect your psychrometry and should be taken seriously. The fan sizing method, the cooling coil sizing method, and the cooling coil location are all located here. And notice that these fields are in red. If you notice the warning in the corner that the fields marked in red are core components of the system, Changing these can drastically affect how you the system operates. Now, that's very true for the fan configuration and the fan sizing method. But, if you have a good understanding of cooling coil location, sometimes this needs to change. For instance, in a fan coil system, it defaults to the room level. Sometimes, for a fan coil system, if you wish to zone it, you need to change this to the zone level. The other fields here, the supply air path or duct location, we get options based on the system type. In this case, we have return air or other. The return air path is a pretty important field to set here. It's typically either plenum or ducted. Further details on any of these inputs can be found by pressing the F1 key in the help file. For VAV systems, we can override the block cooling airflow, though I do not recommend that for beginning users. Finally, the other important field here is the ventilation deck location. In this case, we can tell the system how 